Hello, Martin Coward here. Are you worrying yourself sick about money due to the current economic crisis? Some people are feeling terrorized right now about money. And our leaders are being are facing some really, really tough decisions right now. Which is more important, to protect our lives or to protect our pocketbooks? For me, the choice is simple. I'm in, always in favor of protecting life over property. We can rebuild the economy as long as we're alive to do it. There won't be anything or anyone to rebuild if we're dead. So I'm choosing human life. Foremost as our top priority, and I'm supporting those leaders who share my values. Many of us worried about money long before COVID-19. It's just made things more amplified. And I spent most of my life worrying about money. In, 27, in 2017, I worried myself into an obsession around money, and I almost went bankrupt. Until one day, until one day, deep inside one of my pity parties, feeling all sorry for myself, I realized that all this fear, doubt, and worry was nothing more than an old story I was telling myself. An old story that I came up with when I was a kid that I really wasn't good enough. That there wasn't enough of, there wasn't enough of the pie for me. There was only so much money to go around and it certainly wasn't enough for me. And I thought, is that true? It's no, it's not true. There's no, first of all, there is no finite amount of money. There are no finite resources. Well, God did not make a universe of finite resources. There is an abundance of resources to create a magnificent planet. And once I realized the truth and the absurdity of my old story of God or whatever you want to call it, creating a universe of lack, it seemed almost ridiculous. So I began to reframe that story and tell a story that's a lot truer, a, a story grounded in truth and love and abundance and began to create an, a whole new life for myself, one where I'm prospering and you can too. And just like then and just like now, it had nothing to do with what was going on around me. It had to do with an internal belief system, an internal story. That's where the worrying came from. And the strangest thing happened. Once I started worrying, stopped worrying, and started telling a truer story, the money began to appear. I quit saying, and the, and the, and the, and the number one thing I'll tell you to stop saying the number one reframe, and never, ever say this again as long as you live, unless you want to stay in poverty. If you want to live in prosperity, stop saying, I can't afford it. Just think about what you're saying when you put that out to the universe. I can't afford it. Well, if you put out, I can't afford it, then that's the truth you're speaking. That's what's going to come back. I can't afford it. But let me ask you something else. What if you just simply took that simple statement that's not true and shifted it to how can I afford it? How can I afford it? If something comes up across your end, you want to purchase it, ask yourself, how can I afford it? And one of two things will either happen when you ask yourself, you'll say, well, maybe I don't really want it in the first place. You put yourself back into control. You're not a victim of the world not giving you what you want. You're deciding what you want. I don't really want that. I don't really have a need for that. So you can just let it go. Quit worrying about it. Or if it's a real heart's desire, if it's something that from the heart that you really want, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be surprised and how it will show up. Because you've aligned yourself up with the creative force of the universe. That's what Napoleon Hill called infinite intelligence. 
the creative genius within us that creates everything, including money. So all we need to do is just reframe out of an old story that's not true. It's a lie. It makes us feel bad about ourselves and reframe it into a new story. And the most important reframing in there is never, ever say, I can't afford it again, unless you want to continue to live in poverty. If you want to live in, if you want to move and shift into prosperity, change that simple statement to how can I afford it? May love and prosperity prevail. Thank you. I am Martin Coward, the founder of Financial Heart Space. I'm a prosperity coach and financial planner. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this helps.